Hi viewers, we are here at Model College for Girls F74 Islamabad where an inspiring awareness program on gender equality and women empowerment is being held. Organized by International Governance and Sustainability Institute, IJSI. This event is a significant step towards a more equitable society. Sajjad Hader, a leading journalist, gave his opening remarks and introduced the guest speakers. I, the founding director and CEO of IJSI, delivered an insightful presentation. I highlighted the stark reality that while women make up 49.6% of Pakistan's population, the country ranks 142 out of 146 in Global Gender Gap Index 2023 by the World Economic Forum. This highlights the urgent need for quality education and skill development among the youth who constitute 64% of the population. I emphasize Pakistan's commitment to the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, particularly Sustainable Development Goal 5, which focuses on achieving gender equality and empowering all women and girls. I urged for a concentrated effort to bridge the gender gap through enhanced education and increased economic participation. During this speech, I shared national and international examples of effective strategies for gender equality. I discussed the gender strategy of police, highlighting key components such as increased female representation, visible role positioning, capacity building, creating a conducive living and working environment, and facilitating female networking. Helena Iqbal Saeed, former UN Police Commissioner and Inspector General of Police, currently working as a Gender Specialist at IJSI, shared her experiences. She advised the young students to focus on their studies and maintain simplicity, emphasizing the importance of education and skill development.
Aysen Gulshan, former Turkish police officer and UN peacekeeper, now the director at IJSI, gave a virtual message. She inspired the students with her life story, explaining that by empowering women, Pakistan can be empowered. Such a vibrant and talented group of young women. It's truly inspiring to see so many bright faces so eager to make a difference. And hello, my name is Esin Gülşen. I warmly greet you all from Turkey. I would like to briefly talk about myself and the difficult process behind the fact that I'm now able to speak in front of you. I'm currently working as an operation manager at IGSI, but I'm a retired police officer and a former peacekeeper. The reason for joining the peacekeeping force it was to regain my stolen rights. But how? At that time, by joining the UN, I wanted to regain my self-confidence and represent my country in the best way as a Turkish woman police officer. And I work hard to join the UN. Hard work is a must to achieve success. Success is not easily achieved. It requires dedication and effort. Set your goals high and work diligently to achieve them. Your hard work will eventually pay off. Yes, I was rewarded. Being in Africa thanks to the UN gave me the opportunity to explore the African continent during my off days. And thanks to this, I became a solo female traveler with my backpack. During the years I was there, uh, I had never experienced the difficult environmental and climatic conditions in my country, uh, such as heavy conflicts, difficult access to water and uh, food needs, or the possibility of encountering snakes and scorpions in your room or office at any time. I had never experienced such situations as not being able to find a, a sip of water to drink while patrolling in the extreme desert heat uh, with my body armor and helmet on. But the only thing that motivated me there was uh, to be able to help Sudanese women and girls and to be a role model for them which was the biggest motivation uh, for me to overcome all these conditions, challenges. And uh, empowering women means uh, giving us the tools, opportunities and support we need to succeed. It means believing that we can achieve anything with our own minds. And remember, that uh, each of you has the power to shape your future and make a positive impact on your society. And remember again, an empowered woman can change not only her own life, but also the uh, lives of those around her. Yes, the reason why I'm giving this speech in front of you right now is that I was able to endure those difficulties in those days and realize how much stronger I became as I left my comfort zone. The moment you leave your comfort zone is the moment you start to grow. Just remember. Believing in yourself is the first step uh, to success. Have confidence, trust, uh, trust uh, trusting your abilities and believe, uh, believing in yourself that you can overcome uh, any challenge. Sometimes you may have doubts, but don't let, uh, don't let them hold you back. You can achieve more than you think. Never give up, even in difficult times. Life is full of challenges, but perseverance and determination will help you overcome them. See challenges as opportunities to grow and learn. Keep moving forward and you will achieve your goals. And finally, don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Try new things, take risks and embarrass new challenges. This is how you grow and discover your true potential. 
great things never come from staying in your comfort zone. Always keep in your mind that you have the power to shape your future. Empower yourself and others. Strive for gender equality. Believe in yourself. Never give up and work hard. You are the future of Pakistan. And it's up to you to create a world where everyone has the chance to succeed. And always remember, women are the future and the future is bright. Thank you and good luck in your all endeavors and in your all dreams. Shukriya and Pakistan Zindabad. Ms. Aisha Kiani, principal of Model College F74, concluded the program by thanking the guest speakers. The event underscored the urgent need to address gender disparities in Pakistan and highlighted the critical role of education and empowerment in achieving a more equitable society. हालांकि रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन स्ट्रिक्ट के पहले हमें मिनिस्ट्री और डायरेक्टरेट के थ्रू करना पड़ता था लेकिन जो दिस इवेंट एट मॉडल कॉलेज फॉर गर्ल्स एफ सेवन फोर वॉज ट्रूली एंड लाइटनिंग एंड एम्पावरिंग द इंसाइट्स एंड एक्सपीरियंसिस शेयर हेयर टूडे are invaluable for the young women of Pakistan. Let's continue to support and promote gender equality and women empowerment in all aspects of our lives. Thank you for joining us and until next time, stay informed and stay empowered.